وَإِذْ يَمْكُرُ بِكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِيُثْبِتُوكَ أَوْ يَقْتُلُوكَ أَوْ يُخْرِجُوكَ وَيَمْكُرُونَ وَيَمْكُرُ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ Remember how the unbelievers plotted against thee to keep thee in bonds, or slay thee, or get thee out of thy home. They plot and plan, and Allah too plans, but the best of planners is Allah. وَإِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُنَا قَالُوا قَدْ سَمِعْنَا لَوْ نَشَاءُ لَقُلْنَا مِثْلَ هَذَا إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا أَسَاطِيرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ When our signs are rehearsed to them, they say, we have heard this before. If we wished, we could say words like these. These are nothing but tales of the ancients. <laughs> Remember how they said, O oh Allah, if this is indeed the truth from Thee, rain down on us a shower of stones from the sky, or send us a grievous chastisement. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَأَنْتَ فِيهِمْ وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ But Allah was not going to send them a chastisement whilst thou wast amongst them, nor was he going to send it whilst they could ask for pardon. وَمَا لَهُمْ أَلَّا يُعَذِّبَهُمُ اللَّهُ وَهُمْ يَصُدُّونَ عَنِ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ وَمَا كَانُوا أَوْلِيَاءَهُ إِنْ أَوْلِيَاءُهُ إِلَّا الْمُتَّقُونَ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ but what plea have they that Allah should not punish them when they keep out men from the sacred mosque and they are not its guardians? No men can be its guardians except the righteous, but most of them do not understand. وَمَا كَانَ صَلَاتُهُمْ عِنْدَ الْبَيْتِ إِلَّا مُكَاءً وَتَصْدِيَةً فَذُوقُوا الْعَذَابَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْفُرُونَ Their prayer at the house of Allah is nothing but whistling and clapping of hands. Its only answer can be, Taste ye the chastisement because ye blasphemed. Inna alladheena kafaroo yunfiquna amwalahum liyasuddu an sabirillah fasayunfiquna ha thumma takunu alayhim hasratan thumma yulaboon وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَىٰ جَهَنَّمَ يُحْشَرُونَ The unbelievers spend their wealth to hinder men from the path of Allah. And so will they continue to spend. But in the end, they will have only regrets and sighs. At length, they will be overcome and the unbelievers will be gathered together in hell.
In order that Allah may separate the impure from the pure, put the impure one on another, heap them together, and cast them into hell. They will be the ones to have lost. <laughs> 